Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome to Impact Winter. This is a game that just came out today for the PlayStation 4. Uh, it came out on PC a while back, I think like a year ago or something like that. It's been out for a while. Um, so this is a port from the, the, the uh, Steam version. And just released today. It is $19.99 on the PlayStation Store. have no idea if it's any good. It's like a survival type of game. Survival RPG. Should be fun, though. So let's go and hop Group on into management. this. management. Yeah, kind of like, uh, God, what was the name of that game? Um, War, this War of Mine. Oh. Kind of reminds me of this War of Mine yeah. from what we saw in the trailers. Maybe. A little bit. Um, so let's just, we're going to go ahead and do the tutorial, guys, since I don't know how to play. Let's hop into a new game. It's like, we'll be fine. Just wing it. <laughs> uh, I'm like sure that will go. On. On nah, it. nobody's lives are on the line or anything. Look at this little cute robot. Wally. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest movie ever, man. It's funny because our son absolutely loved uh, Wally. He watched it so many fucking times, yet it's one of those games that movies. even after watching, or yeah, one of those movies, excuse me, even after watching that many times, I'm still not still not sick of it. I know, because it's not obnoxious. Mm -mm. Well, there's not even really any talking hardly. Which is great. We yeah. need more kids' movies like that. Yeah, less <laughs> talking. Uh-oh. What happened? I don't know. Let's go find out. Wally flipped out. He found Eva. Alright, look, Jacob. Echo Light. Oh, no, his name's not Wally. It's Echo Aww. Light. Seems to be intercepting some kind of signal. Beep boop, beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> Do you read us? Someone's there. We're trying. Lock on your position. Signal's weak. Repeat. Signal is. Signal. Estimated recovery, 30 days. <gasps> <laughs> I don't understand, Kristoff. I thought you said all radio signals were dead. Hmm, seems strange to me. You're Kristoff. Is that a dude? That is a dude. Oh, wow, I thought that was the grandma. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, appears whoever sent that message was trying to get a lock onto Echo Light signal. I'll need to look into this. Leave it to me. Oh, so he's our... He's science guy. Sciencey guy. All right, so Ego Light, your robot companion, has intercepted mysterious radio transmission. Using an abandoned church as your makeshift home, your aim is to stay alive, stay alive until the rescue timer expires. In 30 days, help is coming. Your team will play a vital role in your chances of survival, keeping them alive, healthy, and happy. Oh shit! I know. We've right? got to keep them happy. We'll enable you to, to utilize their many skills and roles. It's like it's the All apocalypse. Right. Why you got to be happy? I know. Yeah, you're not supposed to be happy. Everybody's supposed to be depressed. Just the way it is. I guess you gotta have like your little moments. I kind of like the way the way uh, this Fort Mine did it. Or they just had like their little things, like a pack of cigarettes or something like that. Yeah, or like a chair. <laughs> <laughs> they were happy with a chair. All right, let's go ahead and talk. This this person here, Wendy, has a little message. Hmm. Okay, so this is the old. Lady. No idea what that message was all about, Jacob. Much too technical for my little brain. <laughs> But one thing I do understand is cooking, and those supplies you found yesterday should provide a good meal. Got a couple of ideas for recipes? Why don't you choose one, dear? Okay. Um, so we need, her roles are craft, okay, that's her role, crafting. Got it, I can't really change it right now. So we can either make scrambled eggs. Or rice and beans. Or rice or beans. I'm trying to read this stuff on the side here. All right. Items required, powdered eggs, salt, something, and peppercorns. You really don't need salt and pepper. You really don't. You just need the eggs, right? All right. Canned beans. Well, like with this, you really only need the rice and beans. You don't got to have the dried herbs. <laughs> this is the apocalypse. All right, so I think we should go with scrambled eggs. I prefer scrambled eggs over rice and beans. I, think I don't know. I like rice and beans. Well, we're going with scrambled eggs, Jinx. Fine. So Wendy actually has to go cook it. Right. I was wondering her use. She's yeah, <laughs> that that's would just, make sense. Yeah, the old lady does the cooking. She needs to whip up some cookies. Oh, what do we got over here? Is that Mary? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is a church, isn't it? Yeah, it is a church. All right, gotta have a little religious in your, religion in your life, I guess. Uh, so while we're waiting for her to cook, we can go talk to her other companions here and oh, see what she's they. Done. They have to say, "Oh, is she? Yeah, oh, that was quick." <laughs> All right. Oh, it seems time goes pretty quick. Look at how fast the minutes are flying yeah. by. Food Ooh. is ready. 
go ahead. All right. <laughs> no, you great. can you can be the granny. That was a good choice. It's amazing how those ingredients can bind to make such a hearty meal, eh? It might be a good idea to go ration out the food now so everyone's got something to eat. Okay. Go to the ration area. We know a thing or two about rationing food. We do. We do it in our own lives all the time. Oops. Let me go this way. Uh, so we need to assign rations, everybody. Um, not only will this be valuable in planning for expeditions, I only need to set resources before you leave, but rations will also be carried by NPCs if they leave the church, keeping their stats topped up when they're away. Oh, okay. Okay. So they're not like dogs. You don't, like, give them food and then they devour it. Yeah. In a few <laughs> seconds. Like, that was supposed to last you. Well, Kristoff <laughs> has been eating well. He doesn't need anything. Oh, nobody does, I guess, because it's the start of the game or the tutorial. All right, so are we supposed to give everybody some scrambled eggs? Yeah. Okay. Are we not going to get any scrambled eggs? Oh, we don't get any scrambled eggs. What? Do we not need food? Looking forward to that. We I'm sure we do. We keep everybody else good. I'm sure we do. All right, go talk to Wendy. Well done, dear. Good to know we all have a full meal today. As you know, using rations is a good way of managing what we all have to eat and drink. Also, keep an eye on the ration list itself. Some of the team love particular recipes, and assigning them to the right person will boost morale. Oh, okay. Because we give a shit about morale. <laughs> oh, you might want to speak to Blaine. I think he wanted to ask you something. Remember, Jacob, anytime you want a recipe cook, come see me. All right. Like, how about some fucking cookies, yo? Yeah, Grandma's cookies. Oh, Grandma's cookies. When was the last time we had some of those? You know, those, remember those Grandma's cookies in the wrapper we always used to get? Now we make our own cookies and they're ten <laughs> like, times better. But I thought you were going to say, when was the last time we had a Grandma? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Grandma's are all dead. Hey, kid, I've been thinking. I know you're the one leading this team, but maybe we can help out around here, too. Let's talk roles. So you don't have to worry about all the boring stuff. We can look after ourselves. That doesn't mean you can't give us jobs to do. Roles that we can undertake when the time is right. I'm sure you'll learn your new roles as time passes. Okay, so Blaine, we can assign his role, maybe. Oh, we have to select it. Heavy sleeper. <laughs> morale increases. Yeah, that's a role. <laughs> um, it, morale increases when sleeping. Energy regains slower when sleeping. Okay, so they essentially... We have to make him a heavy sleeper. We have no other choices here. These aren't really roles. These are more like traits, aren't they? Yeah. Hmm. New roles need to be unlocked, and this will be done as you level up. Okay, got it. Pros and cons, since they all have negatives and positives. Okay. It's weird that the, the positives are yellow. I'm used to them being green. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the only role we can select for him. What's a lazy bones? Hunger and thirst drain slower, but crafting times are increased. Okay, yeah, these are all more like traits than they are roles. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's roles down here, like cook, cleaner, explorer. Hmm, okay. That's interesting. They just kind of combine well, traits and roles. I guess if he's a heavy sleeper, we just put him off in a corner somewhere with the blanket, and he will just sleep his life away. Yeah, and the morale <laughs> so don't increases deal with them. when sleeping, so he likes to sleep. Because he seems grumpy. Good choice. I'm feeling, you know, how's he grumpy? Well, I guess his face <laughs> kind of grumpy looking. Good choice. I'm feeling real tired after crafting that tent earlier. I need to go grab some sleep. Might be a good idea to pack the tent in your inventory. Oh, and you might want to eat something while you're out there, too. Okay. So visit the storage area. Well, I guess he made a tent. That's cool. How does so many old people survive into the apocalypse? I know, right? It's cold. Yeah, they would have been the first to go. Them and the them and, and the youngins. Like arthritis flaring up. Or yeah, some this shit. is the church storage. Here you'll store the items you find, find alongside anything that you build. Items storage can be uh, team members will automatically use these supplies when needed. Food and drink will be consumed when stats become low. Okay, the list on the left shows all items currently in storage. You can change categories to make finding certain items easier. Okay, this is Agolite's inventory grid. Any items moved here will be taken with you when you leave the church. So our robot is also our pack mule. Is there nice. he shows the stats for any items you've got highlighted? Okay, that's Jacob's stats. Got it. Poor Jacob looks exhausted. Whoa. Yeah, that takes up a lot of space. That's it. It is a tent site. Um, Look at that adorable little can of beans. Yeah, we should probably <laughs> add some more food, I think. I guess we'll add... I think we need any of this. Let's just add the cano beans. Yeah. And um, a chair leg? We might need to beat for, someone with that. Well, I was thinking that'd be for like fire. Oh. Right? Well, you could light it on fire and then beat somebody with it. Yeah, you could. If you had, if you absolutely had to beat somebody, Jinx, you could. Oh, you will. Yeah, probably. Is there you combat in this game? You always need to beat someone with a chair leg. Let's bring a chair leg in case we need fire. 
I'm sure we can find something like that. Maybe we, sh- maybe we should not. I don't know. We'll bring a chair leg. You don't want to be caught out there with yeah, no with chair a, leg. Yeah, no, no, no chair leg. Exactly. All right. So we've added the inventory and and we need. Do we need? To, oh, it says we need to eat a food item. Oh, I guess our food is kind of low. It's ninety. We got to keep it at max. What? Well, let's it's eat. Fine. Let's try and find something that. How about some dried herbs? Or should we get it fully up? Yeah. Maybe we should bring a wooden shingle to start the fire. Nah, that's fine. We need tinder. How are you gonna just light a chair oh, leg on fire? I'm trying to eat this rice. How do you eat it from uh, Go to the, click on it again. Uh-huh. Put it down. I'm putting it Put down. Put the rice tr- down. Hold up. Now I gotta move this back. Chill out, Jinx. All right, so you hover over it. Click it. And then, and then eat, eat it. it. Got it, Jinx. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. You calm down. Jinx is getting all crazy. She's all like wiping her brow like this is like she's sweating trying to well, help me. Well, you're over there like bashing <laughs> the can like, how do I eat? <laughs> I gotta I'm open just like, it. Hang on. We yeah. have this thing called the can opener. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we need to talk to him for? Why is he? Uh, can you see I'm sleeping here, kids? Survival tools, catching wildlife, camp and navigation. We talk about that in the morning. All right. All right. Got it. Now he's we need gonna, to go talk to Kristoff. He's gonna freeze to death without a blanket. Seems drafty over there. Ah, uh, he'll be all right. That would require another anim- animation, Dings. <laughs> so, uh, ah, Jacob, encouraging news. I've managed to reverse Egolite's signal modulator and decode that message received. I had to bypass the BIOS, load factions, and reroute the firmware overwrite switch. That's what he think. Uh, Doesn't that look like what he sounds like? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. What this basically means is there's somebody out there trying to get a lock on our position. No idea who, but with all bad weather out there, it's making it difficult to track Echo Light's rescue signal in our location. I have a feeling this voice was a little bit inspired by Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Didn't that radio message mention something about 30 days? That's correct. It'll be 30 days before Echo Light's rescue signal can be precisely located. After that, who knows what will happen. We've got a helicopter going overhead. Somebody is here, <laughs> to, rescue here to rescue us. us. Well, fuck 30 days. Yeah. All right, I think there's a way of increasing Ecolite's rescue signal and speeding things up. 30 days in one location isn't going to be easy. So it looks like they've been here for a lot longer than 30 days. Oh, no. Already ahead of you, Jacob. Ecolite has a deep learning protocol installed, really advanced stuff, and enable him to learn and improve through actions. I've rerouted this to the rescue signal. Okay, so RP will be earned as you play from general exploration, making discoveries, to crafting new items and helping strangers as you level up, the rescue timer will reduce. Oh. So we so can we make can them speed here. That yeah. Up. Okay. So the current rescue timer can be viewed. I uh, got it. Okay, so you're saying that the more me and Ecolite accomplish and discover, the faster the rescue timer will reduce. How about a small scale test? Perhaps she'll be so kind to give these tools to Maggie. She left them in the storage area yesterday. New event Maggie's tools. Maggie's tools. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we need to She's get. She's outside. Oh, I thought we had to get them from the storage area or something like that. All right, where is she? Where? How do you get outside? To the right. Okay. This that way. big, bright, cold-looking place. Who's this? Is this Maggie? Maggie? Oh, why were you saying she's outside? I thought she was outside. She's clearly not, Jinx. She's clearly not. God, you're such an idiot. <laughs> so Maggie. Hundred t- points. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot, nice. right? Nice. Have anything else for us to give to Maggie? Uh, no. That's just this is just tutorial still. All right, so it's 8 p.m. right now. Let's go ahead and tell Kristoff that we got got the mission done. Ha! This little robot is really something. Just by doing simple tasks, Ecolite will gain rescue points. Earn enough RP to level up and rescue timer will reduce. Genius! <laughs> <laughs> I think Maggie is calling you, Jacob. Let me know if you need any help upgrading Ecolite. I've got some great ideas how we can improve functionality. All right, so we basically need to talk. I can't get around boxes. We need to talk to every single member of the team. They all have a little quest Multiple for us. Multiple times. Yeah. Hey, Jacob. Interesting news about Kristoff's robot. Wonder what that ro- radio message was about. She has a stutter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and thanks for finding my tools. Forgot I'd left them in the storage area. Guess it means we get that ladder fixed so you can get back to exploring outside. Oh, everybody's so winded. <laughs> I have some leftover junk from building those beds, so I should have everything I need to start the repair work. In fact, I've got some spares that you could use to fuel the fire. Here, take this stuff and go warm the team up. Okay, so that's our quest from her. 
start the fire. If you're wondering why we lost about 15 minutes there, 15 seconds, technically, uh, the reason for that is because Jinx. I had to choke to death. She had to choke to death. Well, we got a ton of chair legs. All right, I guess we just throw one of these in here. Um, cook wait a minute. Okay, I guess we do have to cook it. All right. Um, hmm. X is to burn. Okay, got it, got it. I said I'll increase the time. I don't think we should add any more. That looks good. I guess right. we just exit. No. Clearly I'm not doing something they want me to do. Maybe I need to maximize it. Yep. Alright, well that was a waste of a chair leg. I need to be efficient. Much warmer. This place is actually pretty cozy when the fire is running. Warning. <laughs> Don't you think? Remember to keep it burning to stop the cold setting in. Now, about those repairs. Okay, so we need to open her menu. Okay, so we gotta give her a roll. Uh, NPC stats. Energy is consumed by moving and working. Team member will sleep to increase energy level. Temperatures will drop and increase based on the fire level. Your team will need to eat to keep their hunger levels topped up. Drink idols will increase your team's thirst level. And morale will drop and increase based on the other stats. Okay. She's thirsty. Yep, she's thirsting. Although NPCs are automated with their own... Uh, okay, we don't need to know any more of this. All right, so we need to give her the role of drinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so roll. Or maybe we don't. She doesn't have any rolls. Okay. It actually wants us to select her crafting. Tell her to repair a ladder. Oh, so that we can get out of here. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Honestly, it's going to take me some time to get to that ladder fixed. <laughs> 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 you might want to grab some sleep for her before I finish up. I've been drinking. <laughs> I got a feeling tomorrow's going to be a busy day. <laughs> Jinx is having some issues. <laughs> She's been drinking the oil. The oil? Yeah, the motor oil. The motor oil? Yeah. Does that get you drunk? I don't know. Jinx what it would does. know. She's from Honestly. the country. I could see you <laughs> drinking motor oil. All right, so we need to go to sleep because it's past our bedtime. Oh, that looks comfy. Didn't we, like, just wake up? Not long ago. That's what it seems like. All right, so sleep will save your game and is a way for Jacob to regain energy. Jacob could sleep in a bed at the church or in a campsite tent. While sleeping, you can see Jacob's stats on the rescue timer being affected by the passing of time. Sleeping can be canceled at any time. Okay. You can sleep as long as you want. God, wouldn't that be a beautiful world? Mm. You just sleep all the fucking time? I'd like hibernate. Yeah, I'm a bear. For years. I don't like going to sleep. Like, I do everything in my power to avoid going to sleep. But once I'm asleep, I, I never want to get up. I just stay in bed all day. I can't avoid sleeping. Choose a path. Your adventure begins. Working as a team is an important part of the Impact Winter experience. However, each member also has their own solitary path for you to explore. Determining the skills and rewards you'll receive. Explore each path as you choose to find the best survival strategy. So, are we free of the tutorial now? Maybe... All right. Um, it's fucking 11 degrees outside. All right, so everybody... Is bored? <laughs> yeah, I think everybody has something to say. You know what's funny? I play guitar in high school. Okay. So let's, let's uh, talk to her. I bass guitar. We got our rolls here. We can just make them heavy sleepers. That's the only roll that we still have unlocked here. We can set them up to craft something, though. So we need a water filter. Yes. That seems pretty fucking useful. A wooden door. What do we need a safe for? Are there raiders? Uh, provide safe space for your most pressured items. Oh, scavengers. Oh. And team members. Oh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and have her build a water filter. That seems like the most useful thing. Do we have the items required? We do not. Okay. It kind of highlights the items you do have. So there's quite a few things we need before we're going to be able to build anything. So we can't make them craft anything. We can talk to them, though. Hey, Jacob, how'd you like the idea of helping me upgrade this place? I'm thinking if you're going to be traveling around the void, it makes sense to keep the church in working order while you're away, right? The more we can upgrade this place, the less you'll have to worry about us being safe and warm while you're gone. A good place to start is that fire. I say we find a way to keep it running longer. I think we're going to need some kind of furnace. Because, yeah, that thing looks like shit. I've got a plan in my head of the parts we'll need, so maybe you can go gather the supplies. Bring them back and I'll get to work on the upgrade. Feel free to find the parts yourself, but I think something, something, blah, blah, blah. I think Saint there Clarence used to be Park. some dumpsters near St. Clarence Park. That could be a good place to start. She's just having trouble with the reading. Words are hard. <laughs> Maggie's mechanic skills and neighborhood upgrade the church, and she has a new idea to help keep. Okay, so we're going to build a furnace, guys. I think we can handle this. 
Uh, let's see if anybody else has any other like uh, objectives for us to complete while we're out there. So she wants us to get recipes. Like you're old, don't you have recipes in your head? The key to her house. Okay, so if we travel to her old home on Maple Street, once inside you'll be able to use the key to unlock any room. And we gotta find a recipe book. Okay. Let's take a look at Kristoff, uh, what he wants us to do. I'm sure he has a task as well. All right, Bird Tech Dynamics. Two years ago, I hacked into the mainframe and found encrypted files for some kind of advanced robotics program. And after the asteroid hit, I discovered this little robot guy called a Michael Light Technology. Da, da, da. Okay, so yeah, we're not gonna read gonna read all these. They are very long-winded, guys. Yeah, they are. It's like, just get to the point. Mm-hmm. Like, so, can you go to my house and get my recipe? Explosives or book? something. Like, sure. All right, so he wants he wants things to be able to upgrade the robot. Got it. And what does this guy want? Oops. He wants a blanket because it's cold. Hey, kid, how'd you like to learn some? So he's going to teach us survival skills. So he's the only one who might give us something useful. Uh, so he's too old to be adventuring. Start with something simple. There's a tent in the storage you can use to set up a base camp. Out in the void, take this notebook too. Got a few instructions for later. It also shows suggestions where to build that campsite. I also added a few new signpost markers to storage. They always point towards the church. So place them in the snow and use them if you ever get lost in the whiteout. Saved my life a few times. So he gonna learn you a thing or two. All right, awesome. So let's go ahead and get those from the storage before we leave here. And then we're gonna be going outside, guys. All right, so, ooh, antibiotics. That could be useful. Bandage roll. Do you think, what should we baseball bring? Baseball Oh, we obviously need to bring a baseball bat. Let me just see whatever other tools we have in here before <laughs> need we go. some canned peaches. <laughs> need some goddamn painkillers, man. Like, nobody wants your fucking peaches. <laughs> If you don't know what she's talking about, it's Deadwood, guys. He's always greatest trying to... Show greatest ever. show ever. He was always trying to give them fucking peaches out to people. And cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, so should we take more than one signpost, or... I mean, do that. Maybe. Like, I don't know how far we're going to be venturing out. True. I suppose we'll just bring one for right now. They take up a lot of room. It's not going to allow us to loot very much. True. I think we should bring a bat, though. So bring the bat... Uh, maybe a small bottle of water as well. Doesn't take us up as much space. We'll bring a small bottle of water. Um, we should probably bring some food as well, like some canned beans, perhaps. I'd put the bat on the bottom underneath the tent. But... Oh, well, I didn't move them. I mean, oh. it's, I mean, I can move them, but oh, does it just automatically do it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, you can move it yourself as well, though. I see. If you need to like place stuff here, obviously you should bring the rolling <laughs> pin. So, did we want to bring some wood to burn? We need a table leg. A table leg? All right, I guess we can bring... Well, the plank is small. I'll bring that. That'll probably be enough for a fire, right? Sure. All right, we can also bring a wooden cane. Smack somebody with that upside the head. All right, it's this is good for right cane. now, guys. All right, I think this will work. And if it's not enough, well, then we'll die. We'll die. And game over, man. Yep. All right, how the fuck do you the get ladder. here? Oh, the ladder. Got it. All right, so let's exit the church. It's the first time leaving the church here. Leaving a bit late. Why does he sleep so late? He seems like a fucking know, noon right? every day. Spiked boots give you greater traction in the snow, result in a small energy drain while moving, and slightly faster run speed. So we gotta get some spiked boots, guys. Seems like you would already have those. It seems like we're not really well <laughs> equipped. We're lacking a we lot of We wake up from a coma? I don't know. It seems like it happened a long time ago. Essentially... It was an asteroid. I think it might have described that already. Yeah, it was an asteroid that hit. And caused and impact winter. Yep, exactly. Okay, so I believe running wastes our energy or whatever, so probably don't. Conserve your energies. So here's the graveyard. Buried many friends here. Oh, no. John and Lilo and Stitch. Stitch. <laughs> our wife and children's. Oh man, I'm gonna get lost. Yeah. All right. Well, at least does does it st do our footprints stay for a while? No, they do not. <laughs> they get filled in pretty quick. Okay. Right, so well, there's a blinking. There's a blinking light. light so can we? Uh, let me just see here. Okay, that's not. That's clearly not it. Maybe it's this. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're gonna want to use. So pay careful attention. Echo lights. Battery level. Okay, so he's got a battery, and then we won't be able to use it anymore. All right, so lug him home. Let me see here. So we can use this to kind of detect a few things here. Okay. Um, I don't know what it's the gas, gas, gas guy. That's a nomad. 
Is that somebody we trade with, perhaps? No, it's somebody we need to kill and take all their stuff. And loot them? Yeah. And be a raider? All right, what's the other icon up there? That's just a quest marker, perhaps? Oh, snowmobiles. Say what? what? All right, let's take a look at Jacob. His rescue timer, RP level, got all that. Church stats, okay. Um, let's take a look here. All right, so these are the, the events, the quest. Okay. okay, so we have the Maggie story yes, selected. Yes, that's finding the furnace. Okay. That's probably pretty important. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to doing that one first, I but suppose. But we need Granny's cookies. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> she right, can't remember the... how to make them. Does it tell how you unlock the rolls? No, it doesn't. Okay. Maybe just find them. You find how to teach somebody to be a hot shot or lazy bones. <laughs> All right, here's our team, team menu. So are we the only one that goes out? Yeah. Like, okay. we're taking care of everyone. Got it. Also shows what they're currently doing. So we can always know. Spy on them. Yeah, we're spying on them that they're fucking off at the house. All right, Seems crafting like that's list. all they're doing. I got it. So we can craft all these things, see what items we uh, need to be able to craft those things. Okay, so this is the upgrades for the robot. Okay. See so details. A lot of, mm -hmm. like, little things. Yep, there's a lot to it. So we can always upgrade the radar uh, to more advanced levels. So it kind of shows a few things. Well, the robot gets cold. We need yeah, to warm him. Yeah, shivering. Poor guy. Uh, we can increase his storage capacity. A thermo drill can brace icebergs. Okay. And it has lighter battery usage. Uh, light vision. All right, so it'll use less um, battery usage and it's brighter. Sonar scan. Okay. Oh, whiteout warning. That would be nice, because I have a feeling that that's very bad. Yeah, sounds like something we don't want to get stuck out in. And here's our menu. All right, got it. All right, Jake and Jacob's backpack items are shown here. These are one-time unlocks and grand special abilities. Okay. Got Wendy's. Key. Yep, got Wendy's key. All right, so I guess we're going to go towards that objective then. I suppose, oh, it got really bright. <laughs> oh, this must be the whiteout. Is it? Because I think a whiteout you can't see. Yeah, true. But isn't it more? Doesn't it seem like it's more difficult to see? It's a bit more difficult. It's a bit snowy. What is this? We should probably loot it, right? There's a van over here. So can we get over the fence at all? Is there a gate we can get through? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure we can get in there, though. I doubt it. I think you just discover things. Because you got hmm. some rescue points just for oh, finding okay, it. Oh, okay, just for finding it? Okay, got it's like it. It's like an exploration. All right, so we get anything for finding this sign? This beautiful sign over here? Well, it's like we're like rooftop level. Okay. With a lot of buildings. Yeah, yeah. Yep, we're on top of the roofs. Yep, the snow is so high that we're at rooftop level. Is that a med kit over there? Hold up. I saw something about vans. Oh, okay. Like we can loot vans or something like that. Yeah, it highlighted. All right. Oh, okay. This you just gotta click on it. To search. Then nothing pops up. So we found a computer. Oh, hold up. I guess we can easy way to identify items you're looking for is via tracking. All right. So we can look for very specific items. We do not have a lot of space, so we're not gonna be able to pick everything up. This is a. Uh, I think a spark plug would be useful. And I just wanna. Can I just like quick pick it up? There we go. Quick move. Uh, we got a radio battery. Nice. Seems useful. We'll pick that up. GPS navigation. That seems Why useful, not? too. <laughs> We're just going to have to go out a lot because we don't have any inventory space. Oh, oh wow. shit. We're going to need a bigger bag. All right. So a lot of gas here. Um, I don't... Should we... We should probably get some gas for back at home, right? Maybe. I don't even think we can pick that up, though. No. Yeah, I think we're completely... Yeah, we're too full. We can pick up one of these little ones, though. Damn, we are already filled up. Yeah. Well, you All know, right. baby steps. So let's just focus on getting. We're not gonna loot anymore. We don't have any more any more space. So let's just focus on getting to this quest marker here. Get whatever uh whatever item we needed. What was it we're getting again? Oh, enough to stuff to build the furnace, right? Yes. Okay. Well, at least we have this this uh, little mini map here. 
yeah, pretty much helpful. ensures that we always know what direction to go to, unless the whiteout messes with that as well. There's a possibility. What is it? Cave, Jinx. St. Clarence cave? Park. All right, so All let's right. go into the snow cave. A rabbit. Kill it. Oh, eat well, it. it's too late. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to eat it Cut raw. Cut off its butt. Snap its fucking neck. I'm going to start nibbling on it. And then, yeah, we'll have a lucky rabbit's foot. I always thought that was so creepy when I was little. You're just carrying a fucking a dead animal's foot on Especially your neck? Especially when I found out that most of them are cat feet. Hmm, I didn't know that. They're, most of them are cat feet? Yeah, cat feet, because they're imported from China. So oh. So they use cat feet. Instead of rabbits? Yeah. So we just have, like, or used to, I'm sure we don't anymore, you know, vending machines full of cat feet. <laughs> nice. Man, I'm gonna pick any of this stuff up. It's interesting. There's a lot of trash in here and stuff. That's exactly what you'd find in here. Yeah. Yeah, you can so burn. You have to like dig through it. Yeah, you can burn these items and stuff, but yeah, none of them are things that we're actually gonna want to use. All right, so we just need to find. Do we know what we need to find here? We should probably look on our objectives here, so that we can uh, not miss our it. Battery is low. Is it? It's 83 percent. We're good to go, Jinx. Don't worry. It's events. All right, so we need. Bolts, small bolts, a large pipe, a large can, and cinder block. Okay, so we gotta remember that. Oh, rabbit. rabbit! Can we kill it? Oh, he went in the hole. Oh, well, here's our map. Oh, wow. Alright, I didn't mean to click on that. I don't know if we can kill the rabbits. Alright, there's fuel and another spark plug in there. I would think that you would be able to with the little exclamation that popped up. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what's in here. Cold. Oh, wow. Cooked meat. Who left that? I don't know. We're going to take it, though, because you notice we're already getting kind of hungry. We have the meat scraps. Uh, we could get the coal instead of the... Oh, well, I guess that's more useful. Never mind. He's <laughs> like, I'm going to trade this here can <laughs> of gas for well, two lumps of coal. I was thinking that it would, Somebody's like... has been naughty this year. I <laughs> thinking that they'd give us more space. A broom handle. A rope. That could be useful. I think you yeah, just we can hang it, ourselves. And just <laughs> give up. I just give up. Like, I don't want to live anymore. Like, it's too hard to take care of people. I don't think we should have brought all the shit we brought. We brought too much shit. No. There's plenty of stuff yeah. out here. But we didn't know, guys. It's a virtual experience with Home the game. Weekly. Oh, there we go. Nice. Can we read it? No, we can Look, burn give it. Us skills. We can burn it. Uh, substation views. Okay. Well, if we ever need a substation fuse, <laughs> we now know where that is. Where are these fucking bolts, man? So this is, yeah, this is the park. This is interesting. Uh, we needed a can, didn't we? A large can? I think so. All right, we'll take that then. We got no Oops. room. Oh, yep, we ain't got no fucking room. All right, we'll get rid of the wood. I don't need that. <laughs> get rid of the wood. I kind of feel like getting rid of the GPS as well. It's taking a lot of space. I don't know. What do you think? Do we need, think we need all this shit here? We could do some arranging. We could eat some of this food as well. Let's eat the meat scraps. Uh, eat it. Eat it. All right, so we've got and that you eaten. you move your bat down there. Jinx really wants me to move this bat. Yeah. See, now you got room for your can. Well, we had room for the can. I wish it like auto arranged it, you know what I mean? Well, that like would take all, all the fun out of it. Made it all fit. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's the most entertaining part you of the game, right? love arranging shit. Exactly. It's a blast. Okay, so this wall looks weak. If I had an explosive charger, some C4, I could blow it up. Okay. So I'm about to remember that in the park, there is a wall that can you be exploded. You don't need C4 for that. You need, like, a bobby pin, you know, maybe a can of gas, and a lucky rabbit's foot. Exactly. We could. It looks like we could probably push through it as well. Just pick them up, move a couple of them. <laughs> They're not that big rocks. I think he's just being a pussy. All right. Well, we found some seeds. Who can we farm? You I don't, don't know. It seems. Farming. Oh, lock picks. All right. Well, we gotta get lock picks. All right. Let's quick move these. A cereal bar. Sure. Can you rotate the items at all, or are they just? You know, come as they are. I think they just come as they are. It doesn't look like you can rope it in them. Well, we should probably get rid of some more items. We're clearly running out of space again. Let's go ahead and use this. We'll drink that. We need to drink anyways. Um, anything else that we need to do here? 
I guess we can eat this small cereal bar as well. Oops, let me do that. My bad. <laughs> Alright, and then the spark plug. I kind of feel like we can get rid of that as well. They seem to be in every single car. Okay, this is how we're looking, guys. Uh, I think we're going to have to get rid of one of those fucking items, though. Ooh, is that a dead guy? Where? On the bench. Right there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, he died from... Uh, you'd think it was from the cold. It was actually from over-masturbating. Oh. Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. Um, you get dehydrated? Yeah. You run out of fluids die. and you die. Mm -hmm. Something that all young boys are taught about at a very young age. <laughs> um, you know, in sex ed class when they split the, the genders. You play with it too much. Yeah. You'll <laughs> die. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, shit. Wine. All right. Well, this warms you up, so let's drink it. Oh, yeah. Oops, I meant to drink it. Give me the wine. All right, so let's go ahead and drink it. Uh, and there seems to be a ton of items. Some got plates. Also got, we got beef jerky here. Okay. Mixed nuts. There is a lot of food. Peanut butter. All right. That'll keep you alive for a really long time. I kind of feel like we need to get rid of these things, Jinx. All right. We do need food. Let's just go after the things we actually need. And yeah, we'll get food because we can always bring this back home as well. So let's bring some of these home. We can eat them. And the fork. <laughs> and the plate. But we need to eat like <laughs> civilized beings. Alright, I want to get rid of that. Where the fuck does that fork go? Where'd it go? You didn't put oh, it Oh, I put a plate there. That's right. There we go. Alright, awesome. So we got plenty of food here to kind of eat as we go. We don't really need to pick anything, any other food up. Still looking for these, these items. I don't even remember what they all are. We should be able to take the swing set apart and get some bolts, right? You would think so. Let me just uh, ride down or the bicycle. slide. All right, we'll take a look at it. Nothing here. Is this a... Uh... Bottle cans. Does it say that they have water in them, or are they just empty bottles? It just says plastic bottle. Does that mean that there's water in there? There's double... No, okay, there's no water. We survived day one. We survived day one, guys. Haha. -ha. All right, there we go. We got, we got some bolts. Let's go and take those. Um, Some medicine. Energy tablets. Nice. Yeah, that seems useful. So we'll grab those up. Sleep though. A chain. Another cereal bar. I thought that was mustard. Multivitamins. Thought you'd be all over that. What the mustard? Yeah, we can't run out of mustard in this house. What do you use the multivitamins for? I wonder. Well, we'll just save that. So if somebody gets pregnant. Vitamins. Yeah, the fucking vitamins. Uh, yeah, maybe if somebody gets pregnant or something, might need some prenatal vitamins. Are you going to be fucking Maggie? She's mm. the only one who can get pregnant. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> and me and Maggie don't get along like that. He not like my... I don't my, even know if she, she likes doesn't, dudes. She doesn't like my beard. What? Oh, and the cinder block. <laughs> okay, so we needed that. Oh, did we? Yeah, we oh, need that. And it's a shit. massive item. Okay. Um, what was the other item we that needed? That is an abnormally tall cinder block. That is a very large <laughs> cinder block, yes. Yeah, we need the cinder block and a large pipe. We might have found that already, guys, and I missed it. All right, so we need to make room for that. Let's go ahead and, I guess, eat some stuff. Eat, uh, uh, we'll eat canned beans, I guess. Eat the steak. Eat the peaches. Or get rid of the peaches. Let's eat that. There, is the steak taking up a lot of space? Big squar. All right, we'll, we'll eat the steak. And then those energy pills. We're going to take those as well because we actually need energy. That'll kind of clear a up a little of bit of space. A inventory management. There especially is. Especially in this beginning part where you don't have all of your backpack unlocked. Mm hmm All right, go ahead and move that there. And hopefully we can get the cinder block in here. How much space does it take? Let me see if we can get in here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's like we need the let me gas. Let's see here. All right, so let's just move the gas over here for right now. And then we can move some of these items around to try and make some space here. Yeah, because we don't really need the gas right now. And there's also that vehicle that is easy to get back to to get the gas tanks. Yeah, they're just saying that it does seem like gas is pretty plentiful, but we might be able to fit it, Jinx. I think we have just enough space. Yeah, but you need the pipes. Oh yeah, true, you're right, we do need the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how big the pipe is. Let's see how much room we need. 
Alright, so we're still looking for the fucking pipe. It's got scrap metal, bolts, and bottle caps. How many bolts did we need? Just one oh, thing of it. Oh, yeah, we should have good thinking, Jinx. We should probably look at that. Watch us fucking think we have everything. There's a can opener. Uh, I think we have everything. We're missing a fucking bolt. We should probably check how many cans we need as well. Good thinking, Jinx. Alright, so we need... It just says, oh, okay. yeah, this is one. So we just need a large pipe. Gotcha. Okay, that's all we're still looking for, guys. So I'm thinking if the little box is green, it means you're good on the item, and if it's red, that means you need it. Yeah, something we still need, perhaps. Yeah. They kind of use color weird in this game. Oh, well, maybe we can get something out of this. We got motors, bolts. Um, what up with this? Fishing pole. Fishing rod. What? I don't think that's gonna be very useful in this, in this uh world. So it's in the mailbox. Just warm book. A Bible. Somebody got a Bible shipped to him. A holly bibble. <laughs> like, what is a holly bibble? <laughs> well, that's not what it's called. <laughs> yeah, we're not the religious sort, guys, if you're wondering why our kids don't. Oh, look at that. Coyote droppings. Mm, okay. I thought those were carrots. Can, do you eat them? Or do don't you eat them. Use them for fuel? <laughs> you could use them for fuel. You could. It doesn't It doesn't have it listed as that, Cow though. patties, y'all. If there is Make farming in the game, though, fuel. I would be shocked if there is. Oh, shit, there's a coyote. Shit. Oh, shit, which one do I gotta move? I don't even know, left or right, I have no idea, but I'm I moving both. I know, it both. didn't say. I think it's actually the right one. Run away! Run! Well, you. I do have a bat. I should have known from the coyote droppings. But we need to go that way. Like, can you not have it equipped? The I don't bat? know, What's the, what was the point of bringing the fucking bat? Yeah, I thought you could fight. That's what I thought as well. That's the reason why I brought the fucking thing, it's just taking up our space. Oh, we're starting to run low on battery. Um, let me just take a look. Inventory here. Can I equip the goddamn bat? No. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, oh, I thought we'd be able to defend- No, it's only used for fire. Oh, well that's What the fuck? Why would I bring that shit? Alright, we can get rid of some of this shit then. Um, yeah. We could probably get rid of that fucking bat then. Just discard that. That'll open up that space for that pipe. Oh, the wolf is- the coyote's back. He's on ya. He's on to me. That probably means that the pipe we needed was a past him. Yeah, it probably was. We could throw him a sandwich. Or how about some of that beef jerky? We could make friends. Yeah, maybe make a pet coyote. Alright, well... I don't know, you can't trust a coyote. You can't. They're too wily. <laughs> Alright, well, that sucks. I was hoping we missed a pipe somewhere. I think we have to go that way, though, don't we? Maybe. Alright, well... Probably. Happiness bonus. Maggie's morale has been kept above high for a long period of time. We do need to get back, though, because of the battery. Yeah, we do, but we've got to get that fucking pipe. I didn't come out here for nothing, Jinx. We're going to get the fucking pipe. Okay. I mean, what's going to... What's the word? I mean... You're going down. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we'll just try and get past him. I think it's this one. Or maybe it's this one. All right, you got him. I have no idea which one it is, guys. Let's just get past him. There we go. We're past him. We'll just have to wrestle them, wrestle with them, <laughs> every time that we need to get past them. It'll be fine, guys. Maybe there's a way out over here, like another exit. I would hope so, because I don't want to have to run all the way back through here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll go this way. See if there's anything over here. Why did the coyote not attack the rabbit? The rabbit. Oh wait a minute, hold up. Is we've this been this way. Area? Yeah. yeah, we've been this way. So, I think this way exits then. Yeah, I think this is the I exit. Thought that rabbit was gonna attack you. All right, so. Oh, okay. It seems the the coyote is just roaming around right he's now. He's been there the whole time. Yeah, well, he's been he's roaming around, so you can always get past him. You don't so need there's to, no pipes in here. You don't need to go by him. I, I there is a pipe somewhere. We just didn't we just didn't search, and I don't think we were looking for a pipe when we originally did our searches. True. So let's just go back through here and see if we can fucking find the pipe, guys, because I'm not leaving without it. See, what's this? It's a broomstick. Oh, broom handle. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, coal. We'll just kind of search in everywhere again, guys. Can't search the house. The rabbit is just running around crazy. So I, I don't know if there is combat in the game. Yeah, no, because they're shooting. Maybe there was. Yeah, they're shooting. I think it's maybe it's only range combat. Maybe he doesn't know how to use a bat. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I mean, it feels like we searched everything. 
But it's supposed to be in here, yeah. Thing that we didn't there oh. it is. Well, there we go. Found it. All right, guys. And we have just enough space. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, we got one open item, uh, one open space, but I'm not going to go looking for a bag of nuts. <laughs> Why not? I wonder how long it would take before rabbits or rabbits before <sighs> oh, rabbits fuck. became meat eaters. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, because like I can't any find any. Herbivore, really. I wish I knew whether it was left or right, guys. <laughs> I haven't, uh, for the sticks, which one to use. And okay. I'm worried to, like, not use, to be, not be using the right one and then yeah, die. Yeah, get bit and infection and death. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there is all, all that. All that good but... shit. So drinking alcohol can raise thirst, morale, and heat levels, but drinking too much can result in a nasty hangover. Oh, it can. Yes, it can. But it is true that it does increase all of those thirst, morale, and heat levels, though not all alcohol raises heat. I don't know. It does me. Really? Like if you're drinking clothes wine, clothes gotta come off. Yeah. Yeah. It's Jan- getting hot. Oh yeah. Whenever we drink, <laughs> Jinx's clothes fly off. Cause it's hot. It's awesome, guys. And that's an unusual feeling for me, cause I'm usually freezing to death. So I'm always like, Jinx, you wanna feel like drinking right now? <laughs> <laughs> I always feel like drinking. Though. Yeah, all the time. We haven't drank in a while, guys. It's uh, been unfortunately. too long. Oh, there's even coyotes out here. Oh no. Okay, well, let's, let's fucking avoid them. I don't them. feel like those are coyotes, though. They look, they look more wolf-like, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a pack of them. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, we probably don't want to run into a pack of them. Yeah, a coyote by itself you can deal with, but a whole pack... Yeah, I don't think it goes so, go so well. Oh, wait crazy. Who's that? We gotta save him. Let's he's go chit-chat. For something. Oh, he's digging in graves. This is probably not a good guy. Maybe he's fishing. A new stranger. I left my supplies here last night, the, thought they'd be safe. The heavy weather must have blown them away and buried them. Uh, can you help me find them? Uh, I'm kind of busy. It's like, I don't know you. Uh, do we need to just search in this area? Oh, uh, we gotta look in the holes, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's search in the hole. There's nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. And nothing in that one. Do we have to like dig holes? I've not seen an indicator for digging holes. Maybe mm. I think he was talking about because they, they blew away. Yeah, so like if we happen to see them on our travels. We'll keep an eye out for yeah. them. I see something right here. We'll look and see if it's there. But no. All right. Well, that's that's about as much as I'm willing to look. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Um, all right. So if we happen to find his supplies, we'll... It's like how the kids look for things. Like, I can't find it. I was like, you just walked into a room and turned your head. Yep, if you just kind of looked around. Yeah, it's, it's not, not here. here. And then they come to us asking for our assistance. Like, did you look for it? And I'm like, well, yeah. I'm not going to fucking look for it for you. Like, did you really look for it? All right, so let's go back home, guys. Um, it does not feel like a very useful trip out. And we got the supplies we needed, but we didn't get, really get much else. We really need to upgrade our storage. I think that's going to be one of the first things that we get is, is upgrading the uh, robot's inventory because you can't carry fucking a damn thing. The Canadians all migrated south. All right, so they're almost out of fuel as well. We should probably... Can nobody else do this? No. Am I the only one that is capable of this? All right, there we go. You'd think the scientists would be able to... Yeah, like... that somebody would be able to do it. Or her, you know, any anyone. All right, crafting. So we want to craft the furnace. So this should improve this. Oh, god damn it! There we go. All right, so she's gonna start working on that. Um, do we need to put anything else, or does she got it? I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think she's current. Okay, she's currently crafting it right now, I believe. All right, okay. so you were just in her way. Yeah. So she's gonna come over here and work. You can probably see a little indicator on how long it's going to take. It's three hours and, and nine minutes. Okay. So that's about three minutes, I think. All right. So we can go ahead and put the, the food that we got into. Do we need to assign rations for everybody? or I think we do. Yeah. Everybody could eat. Like We've okay. been out there stuffing our faces this whole time. Yeah, this whole time. All right. Well, we'll give, uh, give everybody can have peaches. Okay. <laughs> everybody gets peaches. All right, we'll give them all peaches. This will increase them. We need to get more than peaches, though, Jinx. You should increase your thirst, too. Peaches and beans. We'll give them all beans. Oh, yeah, that really should. All right, so that'll get 
But that's a little bit too much, huh? Yeah, they don't need two. Okay. I guess we'll just do one each. Yeah. One thing of peaches for all you guys. Well, the peaches give the old man the shit, so... He'll be okay. Right, I'm gonna be careful. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we not have any water? Oh, it's in the drinks. Got it. All right, so we'll give them all... Well, they do not need that much. All right, so we'll just wait to give them that. That increases by 40, so They'll we can wait. They'll it whenever they're ready, though. Do they? Yeah. Oh. It's just whenever it gets low. Huh. I don't know. I don't trust them to manage it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust them at all. It's like, you'll drink when I say you can uh -huh. drink. So we'll keep the campsite in here. We'll keep that signpost marker. Um, and I'm then glad we'll... we didn't bring another signpost. Yeah. Yeah, that would have. That took thinking. up a lot of a lot of space, guys. We're going to eat this beef jerky because beef jerky. And we'll just store all these items, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to keep that lockpick on me. I think it's something that we might need while scavenging. And there we go. Now let's just go move this over to the bottom here. This jinx will flip out. It doesn't look pretty. <laughs> All right, so she should be... No, she's still not done. She's only about halfway done. All right, is there anybody we need to talk to? No, they don't want to talk to me if I didn't get their item. No. Okay. Uh, we're just going to wait until that furnace gets done because it's just about ready. I suppose what we could be doing during that time is I, I would like to see... If there's what we need to, to upgrade this guy, what do you need for that? Huh? You're not You're seeing. Gonna talk to the science guy. Is that what he wants those items for? Yeah, I think so. All right, so we probably won't be able upgrades. to. Yeah, so we might not. We might might not be able to do anything until we get the items that he wants. Okay. So. I guess you can go into his crafting menu. Let me just take a look over here. Uh, well, we already know that, um, yeah, I guess we could look at his crafting thing, see what he wants. Crystal Seria, da, 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 you've agreed to undertake some field research. Okay, so those are the items who he wants. What do, what does this guy want? Okay, so take the tent from storage and place it in one of the three designated locations. Okay, so, um, in order to complete his quest, we need to, we need to place that tent in one of those locations. All right, let's go ahead and do... Do we want to get the recipes or the lights next? Probably the lights. All right, so we'll get the lights next. All right, we're still waiting. 30 more minutes, so 30 more seconds. Uh, I guess we can go talk to Kristoff during that time and see uh, see his craft menu. Get back here, Kristoff. What are you doing? He's up to no good. I don't trust him. It's a bit shifty. So, yeah, we can increase the radar. Okay, got it. All right, excellent. Could so increase that battery level. Yeah, I, well, I'm more interested. I mean, we don't have any of this stuff for it. I'm more interested in increasing storage. So that's small screws, colander, and short wires. How are we supposed to remember this shit? And to write it down? So could we have opened his inventory while we were out there? Who? The robot guy. What do you mean? Like, do we have our own separate inventory from the robot? No, the inventory we were in is his robot. Oh, okay. Is his inventory. All right, she's so done. So we can't carry anything? We can only carry, like, the story stuff, like, little stuff in our backpack. Gotcha. All right, so we've built the furnace now. Did she automatically assign it? Level up. Okay, so maybe we might get rescued a little bit quicker now. Yeah, oh, look at that. Four hours sooner. Awesome. Nice. So it looks like the only goal, really. Oh, we can unlock a new role as well. So that's how you unlock them. So careful worker or hot shot so careful worker never get injured when crafting crafting times are increased though uh hot shot heat raises when fire is below 50 percent thirst items are less effective okay i guess we'd do the I hot really shot either of those <laughs> yeah we'll just do we'll do hot shot that's sure it's fine all right so let's uh do we have to talk to her i think we do I don't want to talk to Blaine. Okay, so how do we get it from her? Did she already place it? That doesn't look Maybe. like a fucking furnace. Go back. No. Oh, it's over there. Where? No, it's not. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, you know what? I think when they finish crafting things, I mean, it might go to storage, perhaps. That would make sense. Yeah. Anyway. Let's let's take a look if it's in here. All right, I'm not seeing it. 
Huh. Where the fuck do they put it then? I got the campsite. Beef jerky. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where it is. I thought we'd just talk to her and she'd give it to us. She has a little indicator. Is it in her workshop? I don't think so. Let me just click on her again and, and see if there's... Roll? No. Crafting? Yeah, I don't know, guys. Yeah, because it's clearly not been placed. Maybe we have to click on this to do it. Come here. Let's see. Um, resources. No, we don't do it here either. Huh. It's weird. What was the point of getting it? Maybe it doesn't even update the graphics. It just looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't know, guys. It feels like we're just not doing Is something it right. Is her box? Her ration box? Oh, she's like super Shit. tired. I don't fucking know. I don't know, guys. I don't, I don't think there's anything. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, whatever. Maybe we'll be back. Maybe we'll get placed when we get back. Or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. We looked everywhere there is to look. And I'm done looking. So we need to find out what items we want to get next in order to... Uh, on our next uh, journey here. And we need to write them down or something. Because I don't think you can track those type of items. So we want to get the storage so we can carry more. Where the fuck is Kristoff? Where is That's he? him right there in front of the fire. Where? I don't see him. In front of the fire. Oh, he's okay. <laughs> yeah, he's just blending in. He's one of those really un like people that nobody notices. Just All right. hides out in a corner. So we need small screws. Did you want to write this down, Jinx? Sure. Screws, colander, wire. Yeah, small screws. And there's different types of stuff. So like, we need a short wire. All right, so Jinx is writing this down for us. And we're going to go out for this as well as the other thing that he needs. All right, somebody's having a chat over there. All right, so let's... They're talking about you. Yeah, they're talking shit about me. My ass always gets really itchy when people talk shit about me. <laughs> That's how I know. That's how I know how somebody's talking smack. And my ass is itching. All right, so... Did we mark that one quest on here yet? Which one? The, uh... The nerdy guy's one. One for the guy? Yeah, yeah. Probably not. I think we did, Jinx. <laughs> I think we got it. And it's broken. All right, so let's let's go ahead and go over to this quest. We are actually running a bit low on time. We probably should have. Let me just see my my character here. Uh, I should, probably should have slept before we yeah. went back out. Actually, take a We're look at a trooper, Jacob. Though. Yeah, he's he's pretty good. Yeah, his energy is actually not bad. It's really just thirsty right his now. His face looks exhausted, though. Mm -hmm. He probably should have drank something before he came out here, but whatever. We'll find something. Yeah, we'll... Melt some snow. We'll just go out for a little bit, see if we can find anything. There is a... Is this a traitor, perhaps? That's what he looks like. Let's have a chit-chat with them. The nomads. All right, so wandering nomads roam the void. Is are looking for rare items. Okay, and you can undertake events for him okay you can look for stuff yeah you can uh he's wants bottle caps he knows that in the future bottle caps are going to be used as a form of money is that a fallout joke <laughs> well it's true that's that's what we're going to use for money jinx bottle caps well, of there's course a fuck ton in that snow old cave. 45 record right, yeah i saw a lot of them all right interesting so it does reduce the amount of time you have to wait can you just take all of them we found lots of bottle caps. Seems like that'd be the easiest one to get. Or the bone fragments. All right, well, we'll do... I think maybe you just keep an eye out for the item. Oh, okay. I thought you, like, tracked it or something. No, no. Hmm. All right, so let me just click on it real quick. Okay, so you can only do one at a time. So we're looking for bone fragments for him. And then we'll return them to him once we get them. So this is not that far away. Hopefully we don't have to go inside something because I think we're just about done on time, guys. We're fighting some coyotes. Fight some coyotes. By shaking them. There's a bird tech truck. Maybe this is what he needed. Although I can't seem to click on it. I'm gonna need an explosive charger, some C4. Alright, so <sighs> we can't even get into the fucking truck. Damn it. That figures. Alright, I guess we'll start heading home now, guys. And take a nap. Yeah, take a nap, save the game. Um, I would like to... We did come out here, so I'd love to be able to get some loot to bring back with us. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If we could. 
so we didn't waste completely waste the trip out here. It was kind of like well, roaming around looking no for a building. Oh well, yeah, suppose we did that. Scanning. Oh, so we can scan. It does cost power though. Okay, interesting. What was that in the hole? I thought that's where we put the scan down. Oh. Okay. Oh, we can drill right here. Hey, drill. Oh, just like that. Well, shoot. All right, so that uses battery power as well. Puts a hole in the ground so that we can search it. Hey, and we, we did his find shit. his shit. Huh. Okay, awesome. Very pleased. We got a quest done. Can we find him, though? Because I have no idea where he's at. He was by that tower. Yeah. I don't know if he moved, though. All right, I think the tower's right down here. We got to keep our head on a swivel for some coyotes as well. Yeah, it's on the map there. All right, we can also take any items that we found in this this van that we didn't take before. He took some. Oh man, what happened to all those items that were in here? Somebody else has been looting out here. It's in here. Well, we take the fuel, I suppose. We were all worried about that before. All right, so we'll go ahead and take the gasoline out. We should have quick moved that. Oh, fuck, Chuck. <laughs> Come on. Oh no. You can't set, yeah, I have to set the gas down. Huh. Okay. Oh, L2 and R2 to rotate item. Oh, you can rotate them. There we go. I didn't <laughs> see that before. All right, that's helpful. I was about to say, how the hell are you supposed to? I know because it was rotating the items. All right, so let's let's talk to him, let him know that we got his supplies for him, see, him, well, see he what he gives us. He very hard. Well, he's, he's searching the same fucking spot. All right, nice. So that'll decrease the amount of time that we're going to have to wait to get rescued by a bit. All right, excellent. And we just feel good about ourselves. Yep. Can we do anything else with them? Is there any other, like, uh, can we invite them home? For for dinner or something? No, you can't do anything else with them. All right, so we're going to go to return home. We got gas. We did the quest. Let's get home, get some rest, save the game. Uh, and, yeah, we're going to be continuing to play this game, guys. It's interesting. It's a you know, fun little in those people management games. And there are like some <laughs> loud ass trucks. Oh, is that the. No, no, it's not. It's trash it's on Friday. Truck. Oh, it's somebody else's trash yeah. truck. Yeah. There's yeah. like 15 different trash companies. Yeah, it's like very competitive here, which is awesome for us. I kind of wish it was like that everywhere. A lot of places, it's not this It's not this competitive between it's the trash companies. It's extremely expensive, usually. Yeah, we get you get a pretty good deal. Uh, they have great service like they call you and like if you like forget to put your trash can out They'll call you uh, To see if you want them to come back for three dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they gotta pay them and stuff But they'll at least like notify you like hey, you didn't have this or whatever So let you know on like holidays when they're not coming. Yeah on holidays They're like always a uh, it changes the whole week and they give you a notification of that Yeah, the competition is always a good things in a capitalist market economy I uh, gotta have lots of this. when you don't have competition that's where you capitalism goes wrong <laughs> where you have a uh, people getting ripped off and shit all right so we are done for this episode i suppose we can go ahead and place um is it automatically in there is that coming straight out of it let's place it in the storage i don't think you have to place items in here i think it comes out of the storage place but not entirely sure but we're gonna place this in the storage whatever items we got in here let's go and get rid of it let's place that and we'll keep this signpost because eventually we're gonna we're gonna put it out there guys eventually all right, excellent. I just don't know where we need to put it. I'm not the sure where the post. yeah, I'm not sure where the best location. Well, we that need would be. to do the old man's quest and put our tent up somewhere. Well, it needs to be put in a specific location, so we have to find that location. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we're gonna be doing another part two probably on a Saturday or Friday. What's today? This will be Thursday's video. So yeah, mm -hmm. uh, we'll probably have another video up on Friday. Uh, if you did enjoy the episode, make sure you leave that like. You subscribe to the channel so you miss any of our other content. Go check out some of our other content. Got a lot of videos on the channel that you may enjoy. And I think, is this the furnace? Oh. It looks like a furnace. Maybe it got added up over here to make it warmer, warmer where we sleep. Area. That makes sense. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was this over here. We just thought Maggie was incompetent. Yeah. Okay, they moved it over here. That makes sense. All right. Um, but yeah, where was over that? Uh, so yeah, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, watch our videos, and uh, all that stuff helps ring with the search the engine. Yeah, ring the bell notifications. <laughs> they make sure uh, you're notified of all the videos we put up. 
And uh, then also leave a comment because we love talking to you guys. Uh, it's one of our favorite parts of this whole YouTube thing. Read all the comments. Try to respond to them all as well. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us on this new game. Uh, and I hope to see you on the next one. Impact Winter. Impact.